Hey guys, uh, today was an electrical day. Uh, today I ended up uh, putting some LEDs in. You can see how dark it is inside these things, but whoa, that went out of focus fast. Holy cow. So yeah, so I got those pods underneath. They're basically rock lights. They're how they're advertised. Uh, just three diodes, I believe they're called. Um, yeah, you can see the TDI, I had to cut out the carpet and take the stopper off the back of the factory pedal, but it sits and it bottoms out nicely. Uh, it runs the drives now. I burped the coolant system, got the fuel hose replaced. Um, when you do the TDI swap, I would recommend getting about three feet of three millimeter, I believe it is, um, fuel hose. It's really tiny stuff. Local parts stores didn't carry it. I had to go to a local Volkswagen shop and they just happened to have a bunch of it on a spool. So, um, but that goes from injector to injector um, as the return off the injectors back to the pump. So um, mine I had flipped, well I might as well show you, I'd flipped the bracket for the return around so it pointed towards the firewall. I discussed that in a, in a past video. Yeah, stare at the stare at the top of the truck. Yeah, there you go. Good view. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna see it very well. Let's see if the brightness will come up at all. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this right here, um, factory comes off and points this way because the way the engines are oriented in the Volkswagen. So it's a banjo bolt. So I just flipped it around, but when I did that, it made it just a hair longer, and it's just this tiny stuff. It looks like washer fluid hose. Real small stuff. Um, it caused a heck of a heck of a leak. I mean, that is the return line, basically. Um, so yeah, she's up and running. Everything works. Um, really digging my my new lights. They are extremely bright, which is what I like. Uh, I have the LEDs on order for the doors, so those will be done. Uh, I've got to do some cleaning on the door cards here. Uh, passenger side's not so bad. I got to get in there and fix the switch because some guy before me whatever broke the the clip for the switch so i gotta fix that um went through my lock cylinder and fixed everything in there uh so now the window goes up and down with the key which is fantastic it's really easy to do uh, this door card has seen better days so i gotta go get some clips um i've got another master electric door like this in my parts pile. I'm going to see if that card's in better shape or at least take some pieces off of it maybe. See what happens. But uh, the master switch is still works. Everything's functions which is awesome. So excited for that. Uh, cargo area. I ran leads up to the cargo area as well. So now when I open the door um, you know, if I'm going to get something in the back, I can just leave the door open, and then this will light it up. So, anyway, uh, it's really easy to tap into these systems. I wish I didn't put it away, but your switch right here on the door, that's a ground switch. And then they're typically finicky like that, because they're really crappy design. But, uh, uh, you can buy new ones. They're, they're like... 12 13 bucks a piece when they have them in stock so whatever anyway that's a ground so the only thing you have to do to make it work with both doors is i started with pulling power from the fuse block area here so that powers the, the system one ground goes over here and that goes all the way to the other side which the power does as well because it goes through each light you can see there's two wires there power ground out the other side power ground uh, you can see that one right there hanging off the side of the right of the light, power and ground. So the ground has to connect with both, uh, no, how do I say that? Uh, the ground has to connect with both board door sensors, so that way it will get ground from either this door or the other door on their own singly being open. So you can see, driver shuts, the whole system turns off. And then open the passenger, whole system turns back on. It works both ways, which is really easy once you uh, grasp the concept. But uh, And then a ground uh, and a power both follow in. I put it under the carpet and everything, and then you know pop up to that one, and that one goes under the carpet to the other one. So really easy. Um, yeah, so 
that is uh, that is it. I drove it around in the shop here a little bit just to check on everything. I need to figure out the brakes. They get really hard really fast and don't uh, activate very well. So uh, I've got an air bubble. So I've got to get that figured out. Um, started to bump and grind on a few things with the tires just from turning. So I know I got to do that. I gotta, I'm going to have to downsize tires. It just has to happen. Uh, I got to get the lights in here if both bulbs are burned out. Uh, windshield wipers all around. And then this week is LED headlights are coming in. Fuel tank sender, fuel tank level sender, sorry, is coming in. So I have to pull the tank back down and put the new fuel send level sender in and then put the tank up. And you can see I'm missing the rear bracket. I've got to build that yet. So I've got it zip tied right now, but uh, I got to build the, the new bracket to, to hold that up there. I'm going to try and tuck it up as much as I can because I do have a two inch body lift on this. So, and then once that's done, it's going to sit for a little while until we get some nicer weather. And then uh, I got to rip this bumper off, build a new one, and build a rear bumper. And I think I'm going to get rid of my side pieces for the plastic there because I'll do a wrap around obviously at that point. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. They look so nice with the, the Raptor on them. So, anyway, guys, that's it. That's all the updates I have for today. It's all been just electrical. Oh, forgot one thing. Sorry. Uh, I got the reverse lights and four-wheel drive sensor working. Uh, it's a simple grounding system. Come on. Oh, my gosh, that buzzer is so annoying. So, obviously, you can't see the reverse lights, but there's a the four-wheel drive light. And this was originally a V6 with an R150 transmission, so I had to cut the the wire harness and then splice it into the W56 sensors, but I got it functioning 100%. Reverse lights work too now, so they're a little different, but they work. So anyway, guys, that's it for now. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, thanks for liking, commenting, subscribe to stay updated. Take care.